Hey guys, in this video we will revise for the M0200 exam how we can create charts and create chart sheets. Before we start, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content. And now let's begin. So how do we create charts? For the demonstration purposes, I have inserted here a simple table with months in column A and the average, let's say, temperature in Celsius in column B. And we want to create a chart out of that. To do that, we have to select this table. And the quickest tool is here, what is called quick analysis. So you click it and Excel immediately recommends you what type of chart would suit this type of data. data. So we can choose the clustered chart, the line chart, or you can choose more. Here you have the, all the recommended charts and you can view them and read some description. Or you can go to all charts and select the specific type of chart. For example, the line chart with markers. The more conventional way to do that would be to go to the Insert tab and choose uh, Insert Charts. Either you can immediately select the type of chart that you require or in the same manner you can click here and see this dialog window, let's say, and choose the specific type of chart. So let's go with this simple column chart. We will learn about chart elements in the next video, but I would only like to show you for now how we can filter the data. We can do that by filtering the table so let's say we don't want to see the last three months of the year. Perfect. Let's see all months again. Or a nice way to do that would be to go to the Insert tab and insert a slicer for that table. So let's insert a slicer for month. And here we can filter the data in the same manner. So we can see, for example, only August through December. Perfect. Now let's see how we can create chart sheets, meaning insert a chart on a separate sheet. We can either Click this chart, select it, go to chart design and move this chart to a new sheet like that. And here you can also, for example, change the chart type or you can select your data and use a simple shortcut, which is F11. And in instance, you have created a separate sheet with a chart that corresponds to the data that you have selected. So yeah, guys, that is all for this video. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.